Change of pace now and times are tough as we know for lots of people right around the country. Many are still trying to rebuild after natural disasters like those terrible floods in northern New South Wales. Many people, charities have helped people rebuild their lives along the way including the charity Good360 and it's a delight to have the founder and managing director Alison Covington with me this morning. Good morning Alison, how are you? Good morning, how are you? Very good thanks. Now tell us about Good360 Australia. So Good360 Australia exists to help people in need. Um, so we connect businesses spare and excess goods to vulnerable Australians all around the country. Why did you start Good360 in Australia? So we recognised that um, businesses didn't have a way to donate their spare and excess goods um, and more than $2.5 billion worth of goods are spare and excess every year, yet one in six Australians live below the line of poverty um, and we just couldn't believe there wasn't a way for these businesses to donate these goods at speed and scale um, and where Australians needed access to these goods, we just had to make it easy for charities and schools to be able to distribute these into their communities. So how's the last three years been? Um, I think, like, for all Australians, um, charities have been doing a pretty... Um, we've been pretty busy, um, and we service more than 3,500 charities around the country. Um, so we've been busier than ever, so it has been quite exhausting, but also very rewarding to be able to help Australians. Now, I think a lot of people that listen to the radio will, will hear some ads. Sometimes you need to think outside the box, and I've done lots of work for the organisation Storage King. You've, you've teamed up with them... In a, in a really nice fit. Tell us about that. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, getting funding into charities is really quite difficult. Um, so being able to think outside the box, as you said, um, has been a brilliant campaign with Storage King. So, you know, corporates can assist by um, providing funding and Storage King has stepped up um, again because they helped us last year. So they've stepped up again in April. Um, so for every packaging box that their customers purchase, they're donating $1 to Good360. Um, and that $1 enables us to be able to deliver $20 worth of essential items to people in need. Um, so it's a great campaign and it's, as you said, it's a way of thinking outside the box to how to support charities, um, support vulnerable Australians. How many people are still struggling out there? Um, it's incredible. So when I started with 360, I thought I was helping disadvantaged Australians. Um, and as you said, over the last three years, we've had this new cohort of Australians who have become vulnerable themselves because they've been in disasters. So they've lost their homes due to drought and fire and then we've had flood and, you know, it's been even more difficult with COVID. So people who were the generous ones donating to these um, um, appeals and now finding it tough themselves. And now we've found another um, cohort of people through cost of living crisis. So, you know, it's our essential workers, it's our frontline workers, it's our teachers. Um, and now it's the charity workers themselves are finding it really tough. So we've got all these new Australians who I didn't know I was helping when I started with 360 now need our support. So it's getting tougher and tougher for more Australians. Yeah. And it's, it's, look, it's, warms your heart when you look at some of the produce that's being put on the back of the trucks that are going to help people from mattresses to fridges to small items. But you just touched on the whole idea of cost of living. We've seen 10 interest rate rises. We're about to see the Treasurer come out with his findings into the Reserve Bank. Many Australians went into a certain amount of debt with the confidence that they weren't going to see interest rates rise to 2024 and they've just been smashed. Yeah, it's incredible. And, you know, I find it with my own team, like everybody's, you know, really conscious. We went into Christmas and, you know, where people were really excited about Christmas, everybody was really quite nervous. And now everybody continues to be nervous. So it's across Australia that, you know, it's doing it tough. And so, you know, you might have seen just some footage there about laptops. You know, we've got one in four, oh, yeah, one in four Australians are excluded from the digital divide. So through COVID, you know, we had to, you know, get digital like we're doing now. But, you know, there's so many people who can't do that. Um, um, and so it's a struggle for parents knowing that, you know, that you have to do BYO devices for your school. Um, and there's so many reasons why it's just tougher for all Australians. As I said, there's so many more. And it just doesn't have the money in the pocket that we had before. Um, so it's, you know, our teachers, our nurses, our essential workers, our office workers, our charity workers. So that's where we come to support um, everyday Australians. And we have campaigns where we're saying we have to help everyday Australians just get back on their feet. Um, and I think it's going to be quite a few years, you know, the media's reporting it could be another decade. Um, so we have to be there and stand with each other um, and those that can support. And you, you could see that with Storage King. They've got a campaign saying we can support. Um, I think it's important that we just keep standing with each other. 
How do you fund the work you do for Good360 Australia? Because you get no government money. No, and that's really frustrating um, because, you know, everyday essential items is important to keep Australia running because we need to get these goods into the hands of people that need them. And as I said, there's $2.5 billion worth of goods going to waste. Um, government support would enable us to do more work um, and scale up our operations. So we do get funding from, you know, corporate partners, from philanthropy and really generous Australians who make donations. Um, but more or some government support would enable us to do that. And, you know, they do make very generous funding to provide food relief, um, but it's important that we are able to get, you know, clothing and personal essential items. And then when somebody's washing machine breaks down, we can replace that. Um, and that's really important that people know that we can stand with them in these essential times. And we have through um, disasters, we've put more than $170 million mm. worth into disasters without that funding. Alison, it's, uh, it's a great initiative and it continues to grow and grow. Let's hope the government get behind it. And any of our great business people, because we have a, a wonderful viewing audience all around the country watching this to uh, get involved, they just need to contact Good360. Yes, we'd really appreciate that. Um, I think, as I said, if we all stand together, um, you know, we'll be able to support more people. Thanks so much. Enjoy your Sunday. Thank you. For the latest forecast,